getting down. <laughs> Another beautiful day out here, guys. I mean, like a beautiful day, bro. Look how clear it is. Oh, yeah. Look how clear it is, y'all. Look how beautiful it is. Look, they trying to they trying to do what they trying to do up there. But it's so clear. This is the clearest it's been in a long time. So nice of a day, man. Who's that? The God. What's up, God? How you living, man? How are you living, God? How you feeling, God? I'm out here living, living in my God power, bro. That's what I'm doing. Say what up, what up, what up, fellas? All right. Yeah, man. I'm out here, bro. Again, enjoying another beautiful day, bro. It's so nice out here, you guys. I'm about to go up on one of these things and take a seat. Yes, sir. Who is that? RCC, what's happening with you, man? Uh, let me go ahead and get grounded right here. Uh, I don't think the sun might be too bright right here. Damn. Try to go over here right quick. Man, it's so nice out here, bro. I can't even front, man. <clears throat> it's so nice out here. Come on, man. You guys see me? Come on, man. Try to find some light, but this light's like overpowering, man. It's like I can't even see the screen. But what's happening with you guys, man? How's everybody living, bro? How's everybody living, bro? Y'all living good, bro? I just wanted to come and rap with y'all real quick, man. About the life of a chosen, man. On seed retention, bro. I want you guys to understand something, man. This world is huge, bro. Okay? This world is huge, man. As far as we know, man, from our own perception, this place is infinite, bro, because we've never seen the vast amounts of areas, you know what I'm saying, that's in this world. And I want you to understand something, bro. When there's vast amounts of infinite plane like this, man, that means that there's life force, there's life, there's people all over this area, okay? And your journey in life, bro, is to understand that your, your higher frequency, your light, is what is going to wake people up down here bro you gotta understand man we are true one percenters okay we are true one percenters bro okay and this is why our life and our journey is always so difficult okay i want you guys to understand something we signed up for this okay we signed up to be the best versions of ourselves to be the best that we could be this is what we signed up for bro okay and you got to understand, man, anytime you try to take on any game, any game you've ever played, bro, you understand one thing. You understand that that highest level of difficulty is a game that you'll be playing over and over and over and over and over again until you get it right, until you beat it, until you conquer it, until you pass it. And in a lot of cases, you might not even uh, be able to beat the game or conquer the game. You might just give up and quit. And this is what I want you to understand why I see retention, okay, is the life of the chosen. Because only a chosen few are going to do this. Only a chosen few 
are going to get to that pinnacle of the mountain, bro, where they've, got, they've gained all they could in this lifetime, bro, all the knowledge, all the wisdom, okay, all the learning experiences, okay, all of the downloads, okay, we're talking about, we don't even understand the height of the, of the possibilities of our human abilities yet. We don't even understand that we can tap into other energies, that we can tap in in other dimensions. We can tap in, bro, okay? We, we don't even understand the power that we got out here, bro, okay? But on seed retention, bro, only a chosen few come here, bro, and receive this power, bro. And then they go out, man, and they inspire, they enlighten, okay? They motivate the world, bro with the things that they are learning and the things that they go through because somebody has to do it bro okay somebody has to do it but the beauty of it is man you put in so much of a grind you put in so much hard work bro you put in so much effort and energy bro into making sure bro that you live the most perfect life that you can that you leave behind the best knowledge the best wisdom the best understanding, overstanding, okay, information that you could possibly receive. And your message, your journey, your path is to come here, bro, and help the others in this world achieve this status. You guys, you guys need to understand, man. There was a time where we didn't have all this stuff around here. We didn't have all these buildings. We didn't have all these electric lines. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have computers. There was a time, bro, when people were just living natural off the land, bro, okay? I want you to understand that. It was a time where people live naturally off the land, bro, okay? So they, their minds and the way they act and the way they perceive is totally different than the things that we got going on today, okay? And your role, your role is a special one, bro. Because like I said, man, you're gonna go the hardest route, the most difficult route to get to your glory, bro, okay? You, listen, man, when I tell you this ain't easy, it really ain't easy, okay? It really ain't easy. But there's a certain point and there's a certain time that you get in your life, bro, where things get easier. And if you wanna know the honest of God truth, bro, once you start doing this over and you fail and you fail and you fail, you end up getting it. And this is when you actually go on some, some kind of journey of significance, okay? Because even me, even my first time going on it, this is my second journey. So that means I would have came off of it one previous time, right? So if this is my second journey and I came off of it one previous time, it will even show you that someone like me who picked up and ran with it the first time that he did it even can have setbacks. So that means you, Okay, your friend, your daddy, your uncle, your brother are all going to go through this experience until they learn how to control this energy, bro. Okay, but like I said, our job, me and you who are watching this video, the chosen few, your job, bro, is to learn. Your job is to put in the work. Your job is to do what others could never do, bro. Okay, that making you the chosen few and you're able to spread this knowledge and this wisdom to enlighten others bro to get up out of here and when i tell you man that isn't that's like the most fulfilling feeling that i've ever felt in my life okay i can't make it up to you man i get up every single day bro every single day when i walk out that door man i say i'm i'm out here in my own world i'm out here leading i'm out here being that person that I'm supposed to be, bro, okay? And that energy takes me out in this outside world every single day, bro, and it has me walking on the straight and narrow path, bro, like my mama was walking behind me. Only thing is, I know that the Most High, bro, is watching me every day. And now that I know the Most High is watching me every day, all I want to do is complete this life as most perfectly as I can. That means forgiving people, okay that means mending old relationships okay that means being the example of what it is that you want to be okay and that's respected and loved and cared for 
all right and that's the same attention that we need to give back to other people especially the people that were once in our lives or in our lives okay when i tell you you get to this point in your life bro where you want to fix everything you want to make sure that you are living a life bro with no regrets because we all know bro at any given time at any given day bro could be our last and someone who's retaining his sexual energy becomes an empath okay it becomes an empath you start to be able to feel other people's emotions bro you start to feel other people's energies you start to absorb other people's energies and this is why bro you go on this journey by yourself because everybody that you around you start to absorb okay and what ends up happening man is you end up always giving your all to somebody else and never receiving that same gift that you gave them back in return okay and this gets very draining on us okay it drains our energy pretty significantly okay so us the chosen few bro we choose to go the hardest path in life okay we choose to come out here every single day bro all right and wear our heart right on our chest bro all right but let me tell you something this is why doors open up for us this is why we're able to do what it is that we do with no distractions this is why we don't have immediate people in our lives because we are on a journey okay and i told you you don't want to stop on this journey you don't want to take no pit stops okay because then you're going to lose ground okay you're going to lose momentum all right it's very important, guys, to put your goals in your mind on what it is that you want to achieve, bro. And understand when you go on this journey, bro, I told you, man, you are on a serious wrecking path to whatever it is that you want. Your mind is sharp, bro. You're not out here bullcrapping around. You're not out here giving your energy everywhere, okay? You're going within, bro, okay? You're staying whole, all right? You're staying focused, bro. You're taking care of your temple, bro okay and this is what you get from that okay you get a very calm individual you get a very um, intelligent individual you get a, a very masculine okay and feminine balanced man okay on seed retention okay you become that person who can talk to anybody bro and get anybody to open up to okay this is no joke okay this is a power bro that only a few can wield properly and this is why this at the end of the day it's almost like a survival of the fittest bro when you're on seed retention because we know a lot of people get on this journey and a lot of people fall off or just quit okay and i told you this is for the chosen few so if this has anything to pertain to you then you know what it is that what you got to do you know what it is that you have to focus on bro okay and what you have to focus on bro is understanding bro that everybody in this world okay until further notice bro okay is not walking this journey okay and this journey that people are not going to understand okay and you're going to see this okay i'm trying to help you guys and get you, let you understand that when you go on this journey on where your mindset is going to have to be Okay, it's gonna have to be a, 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 a solitude type of mindset, bro, okay? You're gonna have to really, really, really focus on what it is that you want, who you wanna be, what you wanna become, okay? How you know that your creator's watching you at every single walk on this journey. How are you gonna act? You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't make me pull out analogies, bro. Just like your mama was walking behind you and watching everything you do, you wouldn't be watching nothing on a computer screen with your hands in your pants. Except now you know that your creator is watching you. What kind of example are you gonna live? What kind of what kind of life are you gonna lead now? Okay, knowing that. And this is why I said that pressure alone makes people quit. That pressure alone gets people to fall off. Okay? Because this is only for a chosen few people who have been through the ups and downs okay people who've been on the bottom this is why i tell you the chosen ones are the ones on the bottom i've yet to meet a chosen one that had money and that was rich and famous it doesn't happen the chosen ones have gone through all of the lower energies in this life 
and they have taken all they have learned and transmuted to higher energy, higher frequency, higher thought, okay? And now that they have their seed, their sexual life force energy, okay? Redirecting this energy in their body to their purpose, bro. This is when they come into God mode. This is when they come into I am the one, okay? Because you are now tapped in. Okay, you've heard everybody say this, man, and you know it's the truth. So if this is where you're trying to get to, if you're trying to get to a point in your life, bro, where life is just so easy, it's effortless, okay? You don't care about little things anymore. You don't care about what's going on in your life because you're, li you're literally living in a different world within this world, okay? Your frequency is now high and raised. People that are not supposed to be around you naturally get repelled. People that are supposed to be in your frequency are naturally drawn to you, okay? This is the way it works. And this is why the life can be very, very lonely at times because most people out here, bro, are nowhere close to the frequency and the energy that you are transmuting. Okay, and we all know what happens when people come in the auric field of someone holding such an energy. You have all these negative things happen like envy and jealousy. Okay, you know how it works. Okay, so this journey, bro, is only for a chosen few, bro. This journey, bro, is a beautiful journey and I would never, ever, ever go back to what it is that I was doing. I can't even imagine, bro, and I don't want to imagine on how my life used to be compared to how my life is today. I am a happy person, bro. I am doing so many great, wonderful things. People love me. I cannot make this up, bro. People love me, bro. I have so many different people I meet on a day to day. I have so many people that invite me to their homes. I have so many people that their children absolutely love me. Now, how could I act something like that if it wasn't genuine? We already know the younger the, the child, the younger the, the adolescent, bro, okay, the more in tune they are within energies like that. And every single day I am shown exactly on what it is that I'm putting out to this world, bro. And it makes me inspired. It makes me want to come on here and, and continue to teach and share what it is that I'm learning with you guys. And I want you to understand, bro, it's only going to get better and better and better. I want you to understand every single thing that you are doing today, bro, is going to dictate what your future looks like. I want you to understand that every single thing that you do today, bro, is going to dictate what your future looks like. This is the way the energy works. This is the way the manifestation works, okay? All you're gonna do is when you remain positive and you remain in your frame and you keep transmuting that energy into positive things, all you've done, bro, is created a beautiful, abundant future for yourself. And I want you to enter over and understand that, okay? That is what you're doing. That is what you're working for. You're working for a change. A change doesn't just happen overnight. A change happens like the seasons, okay? So if you prepared your garden going into the winter, knowing it's going to come into that in spring and summertime, and you're ready to just plant your seeds because of all the work that you did the previous, the previous year, you know, you know what it is that you're about to reap from your harvest, okay? You know, okay, it's going to happen. It's, in, it's imperative that you guys understand that this is the way it works, and this is why seed retention is such a powerful tool for that. The guy says, was about to relapse today, but kept strong day 80 here. Bro, don't ever relapse, man. Don't ever relapse, bro. L listen to me, God. Don't ever relapse, bro. You know what that signifies, God? That signifies that you're weak, bro. That signifies you're weak, bro. That's what that signifies. Let me tell you something, bro. 
Let me tell you something, bro. You don't want to go out on that boat, man. You don't want to go out on that boat, bro. The worst thing that you could do is relapse. So let me tell you what relapse signifies. When you relapse, that means you are relapsing to your own self, okay? Physically and mentally, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna fold to a thought. You're gonna fold to a craving. When it, what that shows, bro, that shows that you haven't got the total control of your life yet. Okay, and I know you're not gonna say, I know you're not gonna um, believe this, but you have to understand, man. You have to understand when you can't control thoughts, bro. What happens, man, is it signifies that you are not controlling your life, and what that signifies, that signifies is there's some weakness there. Okay, I'm not calling you weak. I'm just saying there's a weakness there, bro. Okay, and the worst thing that you could possibly do is relapse to yourself. I, I, we have no objection for people coming off their journey, bro, okay, and having a so-called relapse with women. That's fine, okay? That's fine. We, we want people to go that way. But what we don't want, bro, is we don't want you ever relapse into yourself, bro, okay? We don't do that over here, okay? That's what we don't do over here, okay? Like I said earlier in the video, bro, people will, will jump on it and then they'll come off of it, okay? You gotta understand, man, that you have, you're, manifest, you're manifesting something way bigger than you can imagine, okay? And if you stay strong with your energy, bro, okay, you'll eventually trump this little, you know, bump in the road, bro, and you'll be able to take that learn it and go longer and when you do this bro like i said you're gonna eventually build up bro a tolerance for all bs a tolerance for all these traps and that's when you're gonna be on the other side of the mountain that's when you want to be okay that's exactly where you want to be okay you don't want to bro just do me a favor man don't ever relapse to yourself bro okay just don't do it okay it's not worth it man okay it's not worth trading all of that effort all that time all that energy bro okay for a addiction a lust thought okay a thought it's not worth it man i'm telling you it's not worth it let me tell you what else is going to happen not only that bro you're going to beat yourself up so let me tell you something man there's there's nothing worse when you have guilt or shame brought onto you by yourself it's different when you deal with some other people and you get the guilt or shame from other people, bro, okay? But there's nothing worse than the guilt or shame that you get from something that you did to yourself, okay? And that right there, bro, will be even more distracting because then you'll end up start being weaker and you'll start giving in to that thought and that emotion and feeling sorry for yourself. We don't do that over here, okay? We don't do that over here. If you, if you got on this journey the God, if you got on this journey to self-improve, bro, then you need to keep going. And this is what we're here for. We're here to tell you, bro, that don't give up, don't quit, stay focused, bro, okay? Get back on that horse, flush them thoughts, go transmute that energy into something else, okay? We wanna stay positive over here in this community, bro, because we're trying to raise our vibrations the highest we can get them, all right? And that's on everything I love, guys. Matthew, what's happening with you, bro? The guy says, senior retention is not for the people who went comfortable in life, but those who want to burn and explore higher dimensions. Yeah, bro. It's all of that. It's all of those different things. Let me, you know what's funny, guys? We all say the same things, okay? This is why I feel it's important for all of us to have a YouTube channel. This is why I think it's important for all of us to create some kind of social media platform. Because let me explain something to you. We all have different ways of explaining what it is that we're going through, but we're all saying the same thing. Okay? I've watched video after video after video. And let me tell you what I noticed. And just reading people's comments, I see it every single day. We are all saying the same things, but we have a different way of saying them. 
This is why if you're on your retention journey and you don't have a channel, what are you doing? If you don't have some kind of social media outlet to be able to inform the people out in the world on what it is that you're doing and you're progressing on life, what are you doing? This is what you have to do. You have to do this, bro. Because like I said, we're not gonna be able to reach everybody, okay? The chose, if you're gonna jump on this journey, man, and wanna be a chosen one, man, there's some, there's some big responsibilities that come with it, bro. And the biggest responsibility that comes with it, bro, is honoring yourself and teaching the masses out here who have no idea what it's like to retain sexual life force energy. We're trying to raise the vibration out here of humanity, bro. And our job as retainers is to not keep this to ourselves, but to help others. So reach out to other people. If you guys haven't created a channel yet, create a channel, bro. And I mean, actually put content on there. Create a video, okay? You could say something in a two minute video. That's why they have like, uh, you know, sites like TikTok. You can do two minute shorts videos of all your retention videos. Okay, the, the key is is to just make sure that you're spreading the message, bro, because like I said, it's our job. If we have this information and we have this knowledge, it's our job to spread it, bro. Okay, we can't depend on just the, you know, the, the create the content creators that we know to spread all this information. It's just not going to work. All right. So everybody that watches a semen retention, a seed retention video needs to contribute in that way also. Christopher, I appreciate you, bro. He says, looking fresh, Darius. You are most appreciated in here. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Baba Stein, Baba Stein, what's happening? He says, bro, I'm on day 296 checking in. See, retention is so powerful. That's what it is, bro. That's what it is. It is so powerful, bro. This is why I'm out here, man. This is why I'm out here. I, let me tell you how I know this has been working so well, bro. Because I told you, what you do today dictates your future tomorrow. Okay? So what you do today, all that effort, all that energy, all this discipline that you put in today, bro, affects your future for tomorrow. Let me tell you how mine's went. I wasn't having the greatest time last year. I was still on seed retention, but I was going through some different things, okay? I I stayed focused. I did not fold, bro, okay? I stayed positive, bro. I continue to press the message, bro. I continue to take care of my temple, bro. I continue to strive, bro, even though there's all sorts of negative energies out there, bro trying to suppress my light and all i did bro was not give up and now i'm here if i were to look back a year ago to what i'm doing now i'm in a completely different picture bro and let me tell you something i painted that picture last year i told myself last year i was going to go back and try to make up with everybody that i had problems with in the past Okay, that was number one. Number two, I told myself I was gonna start living focused. Okay, I was gonna start putting my energy into myself. I told myself I was gonna start eating better. I told myself that I was going to remain focused no matter what distractions came into my life. That's what I manifested a year ago. And now look where I'm at now. There's no drama. I have zero drama, bro. I'm in peace, bro. Okay, I can hear myself think, bro, all right? My health has gotten better, okay? My mind has gotten better, okay? And I've came more inspired knowing that everything that I was told about how I'm supposed to be living in life was not true. What was true, bro, what was true, bro, is that if I retained my life force energy, that I would be able to manifest the life that is that I wanted. And look what I'm doing now. Look how I'm living now. Bro, it's funny that we, as guys, try to dictate everything like off of relationships. Look, relationships are cool, bro, in some degrees. They're cool, okay? But what I've learned is 
that relationship, bro, is going to take all of your energy that you have just built, okay? You're gonna become powerless. Let me tell you something, man, let me tell you something. You know, when a man wants to lose his strength, you know what he does? When a man wants to lose the strength that he has built up, do you know what he does? He often finds an outlet for that. And what is the typical outlet for that here in our society? That is AKA releasing your seed. That seed is also your power, bro. That is everything about you. That is your drive. Every time you do that, you lose a piece of yourself. So understanding, bro, that that alone, man, dictates how your journey is going to be. And this is why I choose to reframe from that nonsense until I'm ready or till I find someone that is on the same vibrating level as me. Someone that, that, that has the same goals as me. And I really mean this. I don't mean this, you know, how we're out there in the dating realm and we just settle for someone because we're all both saying the right things because we just want some company at the end of the day. Look, guys, there, this world has so many people in it. I meet so many people every single day. When I kid you not, I meet so many people every single day, okay? And I have not yet once okay said oh I, i'm about to come off my energy for this person because i just met this person oh i'm about to come off my energy for this person because i just met this person oh me and this girl went out on a date so i should just come out uh, off my energy because me and her just went out on a date bro when i tell you your life is that much grander when you have the control over your lower self when you're able to go out and not expect anything from anybody the level of respect that you get back from people makes you feel unhuman, bro. You feel like a super man out here because people treat you so well. And when people start treating you so well, guess what happens? You stop being a needy person. You stop being a person, bro, who feels like they have to go out here, bro, and give their energy to every single person that is that they see because they think that that's what they're supposed to do. That's not what you're supposed to be doing, guys. I told you what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be out here making these connections. You're supposed to be out here meeting all these different people because you're supposed to be learning from every single person that you come in contact with. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, and at the same time, you're supposed to treat the person that you are meeting how you want to be treated. And if you don't want to be out here getting used and abused, if you don't want to be out here creating negative karma, you're going to treat people in your life how you want to be treated. Because I just told you that every single thing that you create, every single thing that you are doing right now dictates your future tomorrow. And if you think coming out here, living in your lower energy is not what's going to come back to you in the future, you've lost your mind because that's exactly what's going to come back to you. I'm out here trying to find the perfect person. I'm out here trying to find a person that's willing to spend time, okay? And I mean time. I mean months together, okay? Before I can even think of something like that, okay? It's not worth it for what you are going to be losing out on in your future your job as a retainer okay is to make sure that all of your energy is being used widely for your growth point blank period and being distracted out here being someone low in life force energy depleted you might as well not be on this journey you might as well just give it up but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep... <laughs> Guys, when I tell you I'm not coming off this journey, I'm not coming off this journey until it's really somebody who I really, really am digging. Okay? And that's going to take... That's going to take months of us dating and hanging out on top of that. Okay? I'm not just get, coming off this energy anymore. I'm using this energy. I'm seeing what it's doing to my life. I'm seeing how my life is changing. I'm seeing how... Bro... It's life is great for me. 
because I have no drama. I have no any any kind of reason to feel down or low. Okay, I don't have any addictions. I don't have anything holding me back from going to where it is that I'm trying to go. And where it is that I'm trying to go, bro, is to the top. And if you think I can afford one to lose one drop of this, man, for a thought, a lower vibrational frequency, then you don't know me, okay? Because I'm not going to do that, okay? And believe me, there's plenty of temptation out there. Temptation's everywhere. I get tempted every day to go do something. I get tempted every day for somebody in my life that I'm thinking I might end up doing. I get tempted every single day. But I have made a deal with myself because I have found myself. So when I tell you, you find yourself and you're talking to yourself, you're having a conversation with your higher self, I'm not gonna become a capper to my higher self. I'm not gonna become a liar to my higher self. I'm not gonna become someone that I cannot trust to my higher self, okay? I'm not on that energy anymore. Only thing that I want in this life is to make sure that every relationship that I've been in, every relationship that I am creating, okay that everybody is in a respectable energy okay no one's having no kind of hate for no one no one's having no kind of bitterness for no one okay i just want peace in my life and i told you the way that you create that bro is by doing the things today which is going to dictate your future tomorrow and this is the life that i'm living and i'm showing you that it's for real guys i'm showing you it's for real just because you can't be here in my life and see everything that I see every day doesn't mean that this ain't for real. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm, I've been retaining my seat for a very long time, okay? I'm out here, uh, you know, walking what I preach, bro. I'm doing it every single day, okay? And I could be one of these people that could easily just decide to come off of this, and I'm not going to do that. Rossi says, just came back to the semen retention videos for the first time in two years. And all I see is clowns saturating the topic, talking about day two, day 10. I feel like a god messed up community shaking my head. That's exactly what's been happening, bro. That's exactly what's been happening. But like I said, man, we know how social media is ran. We have an understanding of in, in my one of my last streams i explained how social media is ran we understand that the people that are really taking this journey seriously the people who has the most knowledge are not always going to be the people okay at the very top of these social media platforms all right youtube is going to randomly pick people okay to you know to be the leaders of this you know community it's just the way it works and it could be somebody that's probably not even doing semen retention. That's the sad part, bro, is that it's probably not even somebody who's doing semen retention, bro. And they can come on this platform and just make semen retention videos every single day and eventually get picked up by the algorithm. And now everybody is, <laughs> now everybody's subscribing and liking this person's videos. When this person is in, in all actuality is going over to somebody else's channel and regurgitating all of their information okay this is the way it works on social media man we know that man and this is what they're doing to the retention community but as long as we know that man you know we got to start being you know we got to start being pickier on who we who we give our energy to it's that simple just because youtube tells you to watch this video and it has that many views doesn't mean you have to watch it but unfortunately that's the way people work bro that's the way the algorithm works and that's the way people work People decide, okay, well, pff, everybody else is watching this video. I'm a sheep too, and I'm going to go watch the video and like the video. So that's just the way it works, man. You know, we're going to always have that. It's just the way social media is. But as long as you're aware that that's happening, I think we'll be all good. Hey, what's up, my man? What's up, Lethero Taylor? What's happening with you, bro? Aaron in the building. What's up with you, Aaron? I didn't even see you up in here, bro. He said, semen retention helped me become a millionaire, period. Facts, bro. 
Facts. And you know what's the craziest part about it too, bro? Is we don't even understand the true power of it yet. We're only we're only tapping in on what it is that we know. And if you got people out here writing books, you got people out here being real teachers in the world, you got people out here being real scholars, you got real people out here becoming millionaires, you got real people out here in the real life, bro, telling you that every single every single day that they have retained their seed, they have had an enhanced life, bro. Their life has been that much greater. They have received so much abundance in this world from just retaining your seed. How do people think this is a joke? How do people think this is a joke, bro? I don't get it. How do people think this is cap? How do you think that? Okay. I'll tell you what it is. Most people, like I said, are in relationships. Okay. So when you're in a relationship, you're not thinking outside of that spectrum. Okay, you're only knowing what you know in the relationship. You're you're in a cycle in a relationship. You're probably releasing, you know, three to four times a week in a relationship. Okay, so of course your judgment's going to be clouded. Okay, you literally depleted. You literally don't have, you know, all of your faculties in order. Okay, your brain's not able to process the information correctly. Okay, therefore you're just gonna to continue to go with it, what you're doing. And that's fine, I'm not mad at those people who are doing that, okay? But that doesn't mean that this isn't working. This It doesn't mean that this ain't real, okay? And these are the people that we get the most feedback from or the most negative feedback from, should I say, okay? We get the most negative feedback from these people, bro, who are in relationships, who have no idea what it's like to retain their seed. Okay, and eventually what's going to happen to them, and I swear by this on, on the most high, what's going to happen is they're not going to be in that relationship no more. <laughs> they're not going to be in that relationship no more. Or their relationship's going to take a dramatic turn change where they're not, you know, able to do that with the person that they're with anymore. And what, what's going to happen to these people at that point? With no discipline, okay, no seed retention knowledge, what's going to happen to these people? You know what's going to happen to these people. They, they're going to fall off the wagon, bro. These are the people that become corn addicts, okay? These are the people who become releasing their energy point-blank period addicts because these people failed, bro, to even take this practice seriously and incorporate it in their life. That's all you had to do. You Nobody told you you had to go a year. Nobody told you you had to go two years, okay? We're over here telling people just to go 30 days. What do you think No Nut November is? Okay, we're trying, uh, men are really out here trying to educate other men, bro, on something that's going to sneak up on them and catch them completely off guard. This is going to, man, I'm telling you, this is going to catch you guys completely off guard, bro. Okay, some of you guys are in situationships right now and you're just thinking your life is so great because your, your balls are constantly depleted and your dopamine is sky high. And you, you have no idea what's about to change in your life. What, how are you going to react when you cannot do that no more? Okay? What kind of person are you going to turn into at that point? This is an imperative journey, bro, for all men. I don't care if you have a wife. Okay? All men, bro, should be learning how to do this. Because I'm telling you, there is going to come a time in your life, mark my words, Nobody goes through any relationship being intimate their whole life. You guys are slow, bro. <laughs> you guys are slow, bro. There's going to come a time, bro, where you are not going to be, be able to have that or access that. And how is it going to affect your life? That's, what, that's the question you need to be asking yourself for real, for real, bro. Okay? Because you are going to be somebody who's going to end up in a bad spot. All right? You should be doing this at a minimum with a girlfriend, with a wife. You should be retaining at least weeks at a time. At a minimum, bro. When she goes on that time of the month, you take your nasty, horny butt somewhere else, bro. And you let her chill until she comes off of that, bro. Okay? That's at a minimum of what men should be doing to retain their seed. Okay? Other than that. If you're somebody who's had a wife for a while and you guys are later on in your life, you guys have been together for a super long time and you guys can go longer than that in between, then that's something that both of y'all should be doing as well. 
okay? But a minimum should be when your wife is on that time of the month, when your girlfriend is on that time of the month, bro, you are retaining your seed, bro. There is, n if you're beating your meat, if you are pressuring your wife, bro, on that time of the month, you are a sleaze bag, bro, okay? You are a sleaze bag, bro, and I hope she gets tired of you, okay? I'm telling you right now, you're a sleaze bag, bro, and I hope she gets tired of you, bro, okay? There's got to be at some point as a man, bro, okay, that you start acting like a man, okay? You stop acting like a freaking a horn dog, bro. Someone who, who is so in his low vibrational energy, that's all he can think about, bro. When he knows that retaining his seed, bro, has so many benefits for him, but yet he still wants to keep overindulging, bro. And he know, even though he has a well right there, that, that right there makes me upset, bro. Guys like that ruin women for other guys, okay? You, you won't believe how many girls I've talked to, even girls I've dated, who said that their men were exactly like that, okay? And a lot of these women now don't even want to deal with men, and this is some of the reason why they don't want to deal with you sleaze balls, okay? Because you can't get enough. You can't control yourself, bro. You're looking real weak out here. You're looking real beta, bro. And you got to fix that, man. If this is you out there and you do that, bro, you have to fix that, bro. Okay? That's a disgusting, a disgusting addiction and habit to have, man. All right? And we got to do better. There's 2024 20, out here, bro. All right? It's real, man. There's no soft guy era anywhere around me, bro. We're, it's real men out here, bro. And the way real men go down out here is real men are going to have their life force energy, bro, just in case something jumps off. Real men, bro, are not going to be out here, bro, giving their power to women, bro, okay? That's what we're not going to do, okay? Because that's all we got as men is our power. And if you're going to sit here and walk around, bro, and think that walking around here with drain empty balls makes you a man, bro, you got something else coming, bro. You got something else coming, bro, all right? And you should fix that right away, man, because that's weak. And we don't do weak over here, okay? Anytime you're just going to give away your money for free, that's weak, bro. Anytime you're going to give away your power for free, that's weak, bro. And you know it. So there shouldn't be no arguing back on what it is that I'm saying, bro, okay? At a minimum, you retain that seed until she's off that time of the month. Point blank period, end of discussion. Who is that? Ricardo, what's happening with you, man? He said he's dropping it simple and plain for us, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. It should be real easy, bro, to understand what I'm saying, man. It should be real easy, bro, okay? <sighs> Who else is going to tell you this? Let me ask you a question. Who else is going to tell you this? Who else is going to put it to you plain, bro? I, I don't know, man. I... I, I thought the SR community was a self-improvement community. So that means that every single person that comes in here and watches these videos, bro, wants to self-improve. And if you want to self-improve, bro, then we need to be checked on every single thing that we're doing, bro, that does not have anything to do with self-improvement, okay? And being somebody out here, especially a man, in 2024, when we got a lot of men out here changing their genders, we got a lot of men out here being soft, we have a lot of men going the other direction. We have all these different things going on out here, bro, and all the real men have left the building. And you know what all the real men have are doing that have left the building, bro? They sit behind that keyboard and that laptop, bro, okay? Playing with themselves, bro, okay? That right there is weak, man. Let me tell you what that's like, bro. That's like being a real life safari hunter, okay? Where you only have your spear, a bow and arrow, and a knife or something like that, okay? That's like being somebody, bro, who has a gun now, 
and just sits back, bro, and kills all the meat that he wants and gets fat, okay? Loses all his natural skills, loses all his hunting ability, losing all his drive, losing all his focus, losing all his organization, bro, and is now sitting back comfortably, handicapping himself for the rest of his life. That's what that's like doing, bro. That's, that's literally what you're doing to yourself as a man. You're taking away all your natural instincts to survive, okay? And I told you, the way things work as a man is we're out here, we're exploring, and we hunt. That's what we do, bro. We hunt. That's why I can't see why everybody could be settled down. I don't see how everybody could settle down, bro. Because we stay out here and we hunt as men. That's what we do. Okay, it keeps us sharp. It keeps our, our skills where they need to be. Okay, it keeps us in a certain uh, balance, bro, of our hormones. All right, and if you're not doing this, you end up messing yourself up. That's what sitting behind a computer does. Okay, that's what overindulging in any kind of women will do to a man. All right, that's what we have to focus on as men, bro. Pure self improvement. And if you don't have nothing to do with that, guess what, bro? We don't need to be doing it. What time is it? Yeah, let me walk over here right quick. It's so nice out here, you guys. This is what you guys should be doing, man. You should be out here grounding your feet on a nice day like this, bro. About to go hang out. Gonna hang out with a couple of friends, bro. I don't drink or nothing like that, but I'm just gonna go hang out with a couple of peeps. See who else it is I can meet. This is what I do. Man, I do this every day, bro. This is what you should be doing, man. I don't sit at home. I don't waste my time, bro. I'm out here on the move, bro. I'm out here meeting people. I'm out here exploring life, bro. I'm not content with anything, bro. I want the, I want the best for myself, bro. So I gotta put myself around, you know, people who are gonna be able to offer that to me. Okay, that's just as simple as that, bro. And this is why I believe retention is so important for a guy because it gives you this motivation it gives you this energy okay it gives you this drive you don't care bro you're out here living it up bro okay i told a dude today <laughs> said i'm on my negro dicaprio <laughs> i'm dead serious bro this is the way i feel man and it's and it's a it's a wonderful feeling bro